black, like black nails, that kind of thing? Is that what you're talking about? Well, she has a lot of issues uh, neurologically, and uh, all of her studies have brought it back to this bacteria in her well, system. Well, bacteria is not mold. In fact, bacteria... Black. Mold is a fungus, and mold and, fun, uh, mold and bacteria are kind of like opposing each other. It's kind of interesting. If you have uh, nail fungus, toenail fungus, fingernail fungus, or any kind of fungal infection, systemic yeast. I have a friend who keeps, uh, his girlfriend's got systemic yeast. He's been uh, messaging me back and forth about systemic yeast. Yeast is kind of a synonym for fungus and for mold inside the body. I don't think they're exactly the same, but generally speaking, there's this balance between bacteria that live in our gut and fungus. Now, when we're, our gut is healthy, the, fu- the, the uh, bacteria in the gut will, will kind of balance out the, the fungus, and they'll all live in this nice, healthy, symbiotic relationship where they're all balanced. However, when we have gut problems, when we're drinking or we're taking antibiotics or drinking antibiotic-laden water or eating antibiotic, uh, antibiotic containing fish and meat or chlorine in water, fluoride in water, even drugs in water. All of these can conspire to destroy bacteria that live in the gut. The net effect, net effect will be fungus that overgrows. So if you're talking about a systemic internal fungal infection, which it sounds like you're talking about, doesn't matter whether it's black or gold or purple or any other color, the fact is that a systemic fungal infection can be a really big problem. Now, what do you do? There's a lot of things you could do. The most important thing to do is you want to reestablish the healthy biome, the, the healthy gut bacteria environment. And that means staying away from anything that's got antibiotics in it, fish and meat or big problems. Um, uh, certainly taking prescription antibiotics can be a problem. Uh, drinking tap water can be a problem as well. And then using fermented food and probiotic supplements. The absolute finest nutritional strategy for balancing out for balancing out excessive yeast or fungus in the body is to use a probiotic supplement like the Bioluminitely Essence from Longevity. It's the best one I know of. Whatever it is, get yourself on a probiotic supplement. Folks, a probiotic supplement is not optional. These days, because of how toxic our environment is, as I say, antibiotics everywhere, killing bacteria, chlorine in the water, fluoride in the water, killing our gut bacteria, a probiotic like the Biolumin Nightly Essence from Longevity is just flat out not optional, especially if you're dealing with a systemic fungal infection. They can show up on the nails or can show up as fatigue or can show up as skin diseases. There's all kinds of ways these chronic fungal infections can show up. In any case, getting yourself on the nightly essence or a good probiotic supplement is a must. Also, fermented foods can be very helpful. Uh, from a kimchi and miso and tempeh, all the wonderful fermented foods, kefir and yogurt, all the great fermented foods that are available. Pickled beets, I particularly like pickled beets. Uh, pickles in general uh, are a good source of uh, good bacteria too. Now, another thing that you might want to consider is sugar. Yeast loves sugar. There's a guy named Dr. William Crook, C-R-O-O-K, who wrote a book called The Yeast Connection. It's kind of a classic book about uh, systemic yeast infections. And he talks all about the link between refined carbohydrates, sugar that is, and yeast. So getting on an anti-yeast diet is also very important, uh, John. I would be considering that. Uh, it's staying away from refined carbohydrates, flour, pasta, rice, potatoes, certainly desserts, and fruit juices are also important in addition to making sure that you're getting your probiotics. If you have a problem weaning yourself off of carbs, the or refined carbs, I should say, the best strategy is to up your protein. Eating more protein is the easiest way to reduce your refined carbohydrate intake. And by the way, when we beat up on carbs on this program, what we're beating up on is processed and refined carbohydrates. Most of our calories should be coming from carbohydrates, but they should be coming from vegetable carbohydrates, not, uh, not from grain carbohydrates, seed carbohydrates, and certainly not from processed carbohydrates that are so high in, in calories and in raw energy that the body has to deal with. I hope that helps, John. Uh, How about not, ben? Yes, sir. Ben, uh, uh, May I have this person contact you? Absolutely, absolutely. Now I'm very, I'm behind on my emails, but I haven't sent an email. Please, if you send me an email, please put your phone number on there so I can get back to you by phone. Because just typing out emails, man, that would take me forever. It takes a One lot of time thing. just to, to do a phone consult. But but if you send me an email, put your phone number, and I'll send some. This person is a doctor, so you'll be. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be yeah, awesome. Armor, I love to. armor, armor for thyroid. Armor thyroid is a way. It's a more medical. You know. 
it, I rip on the medical model a lot, granted. I rip on the pharmacological model a lot, granted. The idea that you can use drugs to treat disease. Well, there's also a naturopathic pharmacal, uh, pharmacomedical model. There's also what I call allopathic nutrition, where you do use uh, so-called natural substances the way a doctor would use pharmacology. Now, armor thyroid is a prescription drug, but it's still the, it has this connotation that it's natural and it's safe. Well, yes, perhaps it's more natural than Synthroid, and it's a better option than Synthroid. But, folks, if you have a thyroid problem, just taking Armour Thyroid may not, be, may not be helpful. The thyroid is connected to lots of other parts of the body. The thyroid is connected to the digestive system. The thyroid is related to the blood sugar system. The thyroid is related to the adrenal glands. So if you don't address your digestive health issues and you don't address your blood sugar issues and you don't address the stress in your life, emotional and mental stress as well as physiologic stress, no matter how much Armour thyroid you're taking, it's not like it's going to magically cure your thyroid. And by the way, the same is true about iodine. I can't tell you how many people I, I hear tell me, oh, well, my thyroid, I'm hypothyroid, but I take iodine. I've got a friend. She's probably not my friend anymore because I ripped into her. And she says, well, I take iodorol. Why would I be hypothyroid? Well, the fact is iodine is not some magic medicine for the thyroid. It's not some magic panacea for the thyroid. If you have a digestive problem, you could take all the iodorol you want. You're still going to have a thyroid problem more than likely if you have a blood sugar problem an adrenal problem the same is true we have to understand that the body exists as a system all the parts are related to all the other parts so if you have a thyroid problem you got a problem with the system now if you're deficient in iodine and everything else is running perfect but you just happen to be deficient in iodine yes iodorol will help you but chances are if you got a thyroid problem you got other problems too especially in the digestive system and in the blood sugar system and in the adrenal system, and it doesn't matter if you just take an arm or thyroid or iodine or anything else. Got to work on the whole system. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break, John. So hang tight. If you're on hold, stay there. We'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be. Hey, gang, as you can imagine, living with the moniker America's Mr. Right can be kind of tough at times. But you know what? It's easy to live up to the challenge when you're feeling good. Hi, everybody. I'm Jason Lewis, and that's why I watch what I eat and supplement my diet with great products from Longevity, like their great vitamin mineral complex drink or a protein shake or my favorite probiotic dark chocolate packed with antioxidants. You know, I love these products, and I'll bet you will, too. And now you can get them all at JasonLewisTeam.com. Now, look, these are just the things I like from Longevity. but if you're looking for, a, say, a sports drink endorsed by an NBA All-Star or a shot of Pollen Burst, the best energy drink on the market, it's all here, too. All you have to do is go to JasonLewisTeam.com or call 1-855-310-TEAM. Now, that's 1-855-310-TEAM. Get all these products and more and feel like America's Mr. Right. It's JasonLewisTeam.com. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HDTV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and 
installation. You control what you watch when you watch it. Record your favorite shows. Pause and rewind live TV. Even skip the commercials. Watch local channels, too. At just $19.99, what are you waiting for? Pull out your major credit or debit card. Call 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. Say goodbye to the cable guy. Cut costs and get more. 1-855-905-MYTV. 1-855-905-MYTV. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 FreezeDryGuy.com Not just an alternative to the mainstream media. We are the premier independent talk radio network. We are G. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben. John in Michigan, got to wind down here, my friend. What's going on? Anything else I can help you with? Uh, the, the doctor that prescribed that, uh, she cured her husband of uh, cancer. Uh, she was, uh, he had deep sinus cancer, and she used a, a turmeric product, and she's an MD and a holistic doctor, and, and she has a book out now, too, you might be interested in. Uh, her name is Dr. Catherine Roth, if you just search that. Uh, R-O-S-S, Ross? R-O-T-H. And Roth. Her, okay, her, I will look that up. I will look that up. Thank you so much, John. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, okay, take, take care. Have a good day. All right, Irene in California, what's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, yes. Um, I spoke with you a couple weeks ago, and you recommended some things for my adrenal fatigue. You said take some C, you know, 10,000 or whatever, and zinc, I think, with copper. And then I also want to take the nightly essence, the bilumin, whatever those are. Yeah. I can't swallow pills. Oh, so, you can't. Oh, my God, no. That's Again. terrible. Try some applesauce. Did you ever try putting it in applesauce? That's an old pharmacy trick. You put oh, it in applesauce? No, yeah. they just totally get stuck. Eat an applesauce Seriously. or coconut oil? You mean to take with the pills? Yeah, you put the pill in some coconut oil, which is very slippery, or applesauce, which is slippery, a little sugary, but uh, it slips down the throat. That's an old pharmacy trick for people who can't take vitamins, who can't take pills. I'll try the coconut. Yeah. Um, try coconut try oil. It. Stick it in some coconut oil and then swallow the coconut oil, and then th- that'll help the pill slide down your throat, and you'll get the coconut oil too, which is very good okay. for you, by the way. Right, right, right. So okay. Make sure it's organic coconut oil, though. Oh, yeah, I've got all that stuff. Okay. okay, and then I have a question for my friend. Did I tell you about – I'm sorry, Irene. Did I tell you about sea salt for the adrenal glands too? Oh, I, I have that. Okay, good. Yeah, Sipping I, on sea salt is great. Yeah, good, I Perfect, it. perfect, perfect. Okay, go a friend ahead. of mine is he's 65 years old, okay. and he he gets testosterone implants, okay. like every month or every six weeks or something. And he said it's made a big difference for him with energy and mood and well-being, well-being okay. and all that. But he okay. said it's not doing anything for his his what sexual performance. Really? And is is there anything he can take for that to or? perform? I love the way they say perform, like you're I a know. circus clown or something. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, for, you know, here's the deal. How old is he, did you say? Six, I think he's like 65. Okay, well, he's young enough. He's not, uh, he's not noticing a difference from the testosterone. Usually that works pretty well for, for no. performance. Uh, a couple ideas here. First of all, if he's got any circulatory problems, that's going to, that's going to cause some issues with, uh, with getting erections. So he has to, I would be considering it to be a circulatory issue as well, uh, especially if he's 65 years old and he, uh, if he has a history of blood pressure problems or heart problems or anything like that, um, that might be something to address. You can use the B vitamins, especially niacin, vitamin B3, very very important for blood fats and for improving circulation. And I'd also be considering male 
boosting hormones, hormones that boost testosterone, in addition to just straight testosterone. There's a whole bunch of those. Zinc is very, very important for the male reproductive system, as is vitamin E. In fact, vitamin E, it's a Latin name, means toco, tocopherol, means to bear children, and that's because of its positive effect on fertility as well as sexual performance. 400 IU, uh, 400 IU a day is a good place to be with vitamin E. We're going to talk about vitamin E tomorrow as it regards lipofusion. But also for helping with uh, helping get erections, vitamin E can be important. Same with zinc. Always balance out your zinc with copper. And then there's an amino acid called arginine, which can be very helpful. Uh, maybe 